Hi guys, it's Allie. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to tell you about an experience I had recently that I thought you guys might find interesting. It was called Analog. Analog is a term that's used to describe a device or a process in which information is represented by physical quantities that change continuously. But that term analog also sort of calls to mind a time when we had to be more physically connected to the information and the people around us. Recently, I traveled to the South by Southwest Interactive Festival in Austin, Texas, and while there, I kept my eyes open for something that I could share with you that might be relevant to ASMR. And that's how I found Analog, which was a three-day pop-up experience created by the American Greetings Company that celebrated the analog roots of our digital age and explored how digital and analog complement one another. As I explored Analog, I loved how every one of the experiences offered there really required some form of physical, tactile interaction, which I think is one of the cornerstones of the ASMR phenomenon. So, American Greetings agreed to collaborate with me, and so I decided to capture footage of my time at Analog to share with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. So my first stop was at this cool little area where visitors could create their own physical analog animated GIF. The animated GIF, and yes, I do pronounce that with a hard G, is a cornerstone of internet culture. So an analog, they basically had us ask, what would that look like in analog form? I was asked to stand in front of a camera for about three to four seconds while it recorded me doing some kind of physical activity. I chose to blow kisses. Each frame was printed onto stickers. I then folded the stickers onto small little rectangles of paper to recreate each frame in a physical form. Each of the stickers that had a different frame printed on it also had a number, so I knew which order to place them in. I was then given a small plastic device that had a sort of wheel on each end, and each wheel had a lot of little holes in it in which to place my tabs. And this would eventually become my physical analog animated GIF. That activity took a little bit of time and it required a certain amount of focus and concentration. And I enjoyed the relaxing experience of creating my GIF. And just nearby there was an area where you could set up your animated GIF and they provided slots for smartphones so that you could record your animated GIF and send it to your friends or family. And as you turned the crank it made a soft, pleasant little clicking noise. So I'm sending my little gift to all of you, <laughs> my digital friends and family. Next, I wanted to spend some time at the drawing wall. In this area, they extended the existing wall using recycled pulverized paper, and visitors were encouraged to draw 
and color all over the space. There was a hand-drawn mural created on the wall by a guest artist named Kelsey Montague. And her mural on the drawing wall was a sort of blank canvas for anybody to come and express themselves creatively. So I created my own little illustration on the recycled wall. And just nearby, there was a station for creating Polaroids. And the way they did that was they asked visitors to take a photo, upload it to Instagram, and they would find the photo and then physically print a Polaroid for you to take with you. So I took a selfie with my little illustration. I posted it to Instagram. And I was handed a physical Polaroid to commemorate my experience. Next was one of my favorite parts, I think, of the analog experience. And that was having an artist stitch a physical analog selfie for me. The artist's name is Michael Birch Pierce. And all you do is stand in front of him and remain still. And using his sewing machine, He'll stitch an amazing portrait of your face. And even with the sound of voices and chatter all around, there was something so mesmerizing and relaxing about the sound of his sewing machine as he worked. What was the most remarkable was the amount of focus and attention he gave each individual person as he worked. And now my little analog stitched selfie is another physical memento of my time at analog. Finally, I went to one of the most popular spots area where visitors were asked to choose a greeting card and to craft a short message for volunteers of the event to hand letter inside the card and mail to anyone you like. So I found a card. The card said, feeling blank at South by Southwest Interactive. And so in the blank, I had my volunteer hand letter the word tingles. And inside of the card, I wrote my own message. But instead of mailing the card, I chose to leave it in one of the anonymous mailboxes set up in the space for strangers to interact with one another. So, if anyone opened up my card who has never heard of ASMR but might experience the sensation, then hopefully my message opened up a whole new world for
Right now we are living in an age of digital revolution. I think it's an amazing and exciting time to be alive, but I also think it's nice to take a break from that revolution sometimes and to remember how we got to where we are today. Analog encapsulated that. It was nostalgic and genuine and it felt like taking a step back in time and helped me to remember that each of us has an inherent need in our lives to make significant and meaningful connections with the people around us and with ourselves so thanks for watching guys as always I wish you restful sleep and pleasant dreams, and I'll be seeing you all again very soon.